Aquarius. This is your December 10th, 2022 daily tarot reading. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for December the 10th, 2022. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for December the 10th, 2022. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aquarius for December the 10th, 2022. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, these are your cards, honey. So, Aquarius, you have the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to bring something more solid, stable, and secure. Now, this can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. But it's on the slowest moving night in the deck. So having anything solid, stable, secure, and long lasting is so slow coming to the point where it seems like it's not coming at all. So stability or commitment has been halted here. So listen, Aquarius, you're telling me that everything has come to a screeching halt, either with practicality or with you guys' commitment. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is, the Knight of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love. A brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing. A brand new blessing. A brand new beginning in love. So listen, Aquarius, new love, new start to love, or a blessing. Now listen, you can tell me that you guys went stagnant over some type of blessing, money, assets, resources, property. You guys could have went stagnant because someone has new love. However, you can tell me that you guys are stagnant, but you're starting new. Aquarius, you have the King of Wands, Aries, Leora Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. You could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done, and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Like I said, could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands is someone who's highly motivated, a self-starter, someone who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aquarius. What about this fire? It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Aquarius, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date or commitment. This is the news of it. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ten of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy so listen aquarius this can be about your money assets resources abundance yes this can be that someone has commitment on the brain however in tarot tens are ending so it could be an ending to a commitment marriage living together situation or family dynamics now listen aquarius very well could be about taking some type of action here concerning some type of news about practicality money assets resources property you know maybe there's some type of blessing here but maybe your action is to go stagnant here or to slow things down tremendously. However, you know, it could also be a, some action towards commitment here, okay? And maybe even wanting to start new after stagnation or to just end things here and go stagnant. Aquarius, you have the three of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you waiting. Waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for what you set your intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of you looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're waiting. You can tell me that your ships are here. You can tell me that you're looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand or even travel. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. Clarify the three of wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. So Aquarius, listen, you know, you can tell me that you have a spark of a new idea, but you're waiting. You can tell me that you guys had this passionate, heated discussion or argument because you were expecting something here, maybe dealing with the coins and this blessing here. Aquarius, you can tell me that, you know, maybe you're waiting before you start a passion in the beginning and start over with this person. Or you're telling me, you know what? I just want to look to see what else is out there. I, I do. I do. Aquarius, you have the four of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So listen, Aquarius, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Yes. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aquarius. Clarify judgment 
for Aquarius. Clarified judgment for Aquarius. It is clarified with the star. This is you, Aquarius. But the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Aquarius, this is you. Clarify the star for Aquarius. Clarify the star for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the star for Aquarius. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself, and hold yourself back from something. So listen, Aquarius, could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're feeling extremely weak here. You can tell me you're restraining yourself, restricting yourself, and holding yourself back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aquarius. Clarify strength for Aquarius. Clarify strength for Aquarius. It is clarified with you, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, the King of Swords. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. But Aquarius, again, this is you. Clarify the king of swords for Aquarius. Clarify the king of swords for Aquarius. What about Aquarius? What about Aquarius? Clarify the King of Swords for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So listen, Aquarius, very well could be a rush to do something here. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So listen, Aquarius, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up. You don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground here. Now, Aquarius, to me, you're kind of closed off here, restraining yourself, restricting yourself, holding yourself back. You have your guard up. You don't trust. So you're kind of holding back, kind of closed off to this person. And this is your judgment here. Now, either because you guys had this rushing in, going off, going hand passionately with a heated discussion or argument, and it could be over the coins or some type of blessing. But it could also be that someone was out being a player, getting cookies somewhere. And this is what you're highly suspicious of. Aquarius. You have the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that, hey, you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the moon for Aquarius or there is a secret. Clarify the moon for Aquarius. Clarify the moon for Aquarius. 
it is clarified with the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this king is usually stable rooted grounded traditional believes in the institution of marriage and family someone who is good with managing finances and material resources this could be a business owner ceo independent contractor manager could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone more Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Empress. Could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus, but the Empress signifies beauty, fertility, creativity, nurturing energy, love, abundance, growth, and development. This is a pregnant woman. She is symbolic of the Mother Earth. She takes the seed of something and nurtures it so that it grows abundantly. So Aquarius could be dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. Could be dealing with a spouse because the Empress is a married, stable, committed person. Could be dealing with a parent of your child or someone who's expecting. Now this can be about your abundance, but it could also be about nurturing the relationship. And I must point out that in Tarot, this Ace of Cups, this brand new blessing could be a baby. Are we stagnant over some type of baby situation with this Empress sitting here? Clarify the Empress for Aquarius. Clarify the Empress for Aquarius. Clarify the Empress for Aquarius. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle. Closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aquarius, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys. Emotional distance or geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. Clarify the world for Aquarius. It is clarified with the Six of Wands. <clears throat> Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. Now, Aquarius, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Now, Aquarius, it very well could be that someone is wanting to come back around again and nurture the relationship by getting the other's attention. But just maybe using their intuition on whether or not you should do so. But when I look at this read, I see you telling me that something was brought to your attention you began to recognize something here and so you're closing out this cycle some type of secret is coming out something that you don't trust and this is the reason why you're kind of holding back from this person hmm. are you like stagnant with this person because you think that they have new love here or are you suspicious of there being a baby involved here Aquarius, this is your December 10th, 2022 Daily Tarot reading. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.